is it always raining every time we come it's to New York? It's supposed to be summer, I'm cold. It's supposed to be summer. Well, you're Miami, That's so right. you're, you're always That's cold. Right. So right. let's talk about our day. What are we doing? What are we doing today? Oh, we have a lot. We have two brands. We, we have do. two brands, three artists. Three artists. Um, the fabulous Robin. Anna Cantu yes. from Peruk. Peruk. And we have Greg Gilmore and Lacey Beals from Design Essentials. Yes, we do. And so, it's all about finishing, it right? Is. It's all about the Styling, beauty of the texture. Beauty. beauty. We're surrounded by beauty yeah. right now. The beauty of texture. Um, I know that you are very close and dear to texture, as uh, am I. Oh, of course. And the influence of from course. polish to exaggerated. Yes. Um, so we have so many exciting things to talk about and share about the shoot with them. And then next, we have um, our trend shoot. Um, yeah, we do. Um, right after this, we actually are doing some really amazing things. We are cross-collaborating with Sephora, with Sephora and also our apparel department. Well, I think that it's about time, right? We are beauty experts. We talk are it. talking about hair. We're talking about fashion. We are talking about makeup. Hey, aren't these your favorite? They really are my favorite. My life. They smell amazing. Aw, thank you. Oh, Thanks. Yes. Um, so we're going to tie everything in. We are going to hang out with Sephora for a bit. We have them on our trend shoot. They have a lot of great things to share with us as well. They're doing a bold lip. They're doing a beautiful coral cheek. They're yeah. doing um, also a bold eye. I think it's just so much information. Yeah. So. So that and was we're, like, on the, we're on the cusp of it as opposed to just following the trend. We're getting it as it's kind of being released. So. Yeah, absolutely. So we have some great stuff to share with them. Um, what else do we have happening? Um, well, not only Sephora, we have the apparel department kind of um, come in and show us a sneak peek of fall winter, fall winter 2017. We're ready. We love that. Fall winter. We're already, oh my we're gosh. already ahead. The colors, so, yep. all of that. So I think someone's probably going to be looking for us and so we're tiptoeing around the tulips. Well, <laughs> I saw this and I felt like, you know, we needed some flowers. Yeah. And let's go get these and then run over there. Let's go pay and then let's go see what's happening on set. Open up your eyes and see everything you want it. Know if you believe it Know that you can have it Yeah I see you and Greg have yours, and you didn't offer any right. of them, Lacey and I, so. <laughs> all right, we got anxious. Well, you know what? That, that's all right. That's all right. She got you. Well, thank you guys for hanging out with thank us you. for the next couple days. Thanks for um, having us. Greg, yes. Lacey. We love we, having you here. We yeah. do. We love having you. And of course, we have a million questions, but they're only going to let us ask a few. Um, I know that you have been thinking your wheels are turning, so yeah. what do you, what do well, you, what I, you got? Well, I love having some um, texture experts in the house and um, just kind of having a, a session where we get to just talk about what inspires you and you know what motivates you but I think um, I would be remiss if I didn't ask you um, you know we'll start with you Greg you know how did you get here what was your journey well um, <laughs> I had a really long journey okay um, Cliff well, notes version. Right. I know. Like say, I'm, I'm okay. always telling her, I'm like, we don't could go be back in here to, all night. Don't go back to, yeah. But um I mean well I, I always had an interest in here. Even from um, a young boy, um, I was always a creative child. Um, and my my grandmother is uh, funny because she would be falling asleep but she would have to babysit me. So I would play in her hair and I would make little um, Shinyongs and yeah. things, yeah. and um, awesome. that was her She'd way of. Yeah. Well, yeah, she would, <laughs> um, and she and it wouldn't look like you know like the work I do now, but she would just always, oh, that's so nice, and, oh, that looks so good, and so that kind of like fueled me a little yeah. bit. But it was her way of watching me yeah. because she knew if she was falling asleep, she would like I was right there. Yeah. And so over time, I went to cosmetology school through my high school. I was able to get my license really early. Um, I shampooed um, like most. Um, paid your dues. Right. Yeah. I paid mm -hmm. my dues. I did shampooing, sweeping, and all that at 15, 16. 
And, um, and so I did hair consistently in the salon for a long time in Cleveland, and then I was able to just move to Los Angeles. And I took a risk, of course, and I had a really struggled time at first, um, but the and love you had like uh, $10 in your pocket. Yes, yeah. definitely, <laughs> yeah, it was a struggle yeah. uh, for a long time, but you are willing to do things like that um, when you are in love with something yes. and you're trying to get definitely. to it. And sometimes when you're coming from something that is not your love, um, a place that is like LA and you're struggling can be like paradise yeah. almost because you're so close to your dreams. You're and just I always amongst wanted it. To go you're just the, amongst the energy of it and so right. it fuels you. Right, and so um, I always use Design Essentials from, um, you know, an apprenticeship I was using Design Essentials. And um, so I was very familiar with the product, I always wanted to work for it. Um, and so uh, I ended up having the opportunity to, and once I was let in the gates. Okay, the prelude. Oh. Right, things exploded for me. Um, and, and just before that too, um, but I realized everything is like a grand plan. And so all the things that I went through were to prepare me for the time that I have now. Um, all the knit and grit really helped um, cultivate the stylist that I am today. Um, and I guess that's my story. I love and it's that. still the yeah, scene. So that's a still more to come. No, no, it hasn't all been written yet. Right. That's, I love that. Right. Never Lacey. Ending story. Lacey. Lacey. You know, yes. it's so funny because I didn't know that you got your license in high school. Mm -hmm. I did too. Yeah. My mother was a hairstylist and uh, watching her you do don't hair. You not see that as much anymore. Not at all. Yeah, and it's and she doesn't even do hair anymore. Oh, By wow. the time I got oh. my license, she okay. was already retiring and going into her second career as a paralegal. Wow. So, okay. you know, okay. growing up watching her in the salon yeah. and um, she taught me how to braid where well, I really taught myself yeah. you yes. know yeah. and she was like no three strands sit here watch me and you're going to do it yourself you know yeah. do it yourself and um, she bought me the Barbie head at the time yeah. and I was like okay I Barbie need another with one the, with yeah. the shoulders, shoulders. yes yeah, shoulders. and I was like <laughs> okay mom I, color, I colored her hair okay mom I cut her hair I need yeah. a new one you know yeah. she's like oh no it's time for some mannequins yeah. you know yeah. so she went and got me some mannequins I had one oh. color mannequin I had one uh, cut mannequin was I had before one school? This oh, is while before you school. I'm like before, eight oh. or nine years old right wow. now. Wow. Yes. Okay. Yes. And then, um, and then middle school came about, and uh, high school they offered the program. So mm -hmm. I said, okay, well, I really need some hands-on, like some real salon hands-on experience now. And I went into the salon at 14, and that's when I met my old um, rest in peace uh, distributor with Design Essentials, yeah. and I was introduced to Design Essentials at 14 years old. Wow. And I was working with the product, wow. yeah. and I moved on up. Graduated at 17 with my license, 19, got my own chair, and it was on from there. And then I ran back into him, and he was like, you know what? I think you need to come on board as an educator. And I was like, you know what? I think I do. Okay. You know? <laughs> I think that's really great that you were actually at that just alone that young age, yeah. but that you were introduced to professional products. Yeah. Um, like, that's not usually the case. Like, especially if you're that young, you just don't know any better. So how fortunate that... I you... will say, too, I was um, definitely separated in the salon. You know, okay. at the salon that I started at with my own chair, because they knew, like, Lacey isn't doing hair the same way we do hair. Yeah. And I think it's because of that one point, being introduced to a professional product at a young age, I was able to separate real products from fake products. You well, know, also, from also finishing. education, though, education, the education that the you received. The education. What has that design essential education done for you in your career? What? How did Ooh. that change you as a hairdresser? Um, it has led me here today. You know, that strong foundation. Um, I think that um, having a, a company to um, to support you, that supports you and pushes you at the same time, really does make you become better, you know? And the more education they feed you, and then you're open to more education outside of the education that they give you. So, you know, it broadens your horizons and your thoughts, and then it broadens your skills, and next thing you know, you're like, oh, I'm traveling here. And here I'm you are, there. sitting in and New I'm York. sitting in New York, yeah. you know. <laughs> on a rainy it, day. Yeah. On a rainy day, but it's yeah. a beautiful day because Absolutely. of the experience and the journey. It's all about yeah. the journey. It's all about the journey. What about you, Greg? What influence has education played in your role as the hairdresser that you are today? Major. <laughs> Major. Without you know, it, there is no thinks, Greg Gilmore. I know, it's not. Um, everyone thinks, you know, you go to cosmetology school, and then after that, you just 
start doing hair. hair. And it's just not the case. I mean, you do that to get your basics. Um, but over time, education really changed the game for me um, because I got to train with Paul Mitchell through a um, flagship uh, salon in Cleveland. I got to work with L'Oreal and No Color and Dual Coding, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and then I, I was um, fortunate enough to be able to attend Vidal Sassoon uh, for advanced hair cutting. And that changed my life because I totally changes your perspective, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> On even how to approach a haircut, you know, about sculpture. It's it's kind of like the shapes. Yeah, right. yeah it's, it's a systematic approach, mm -hmm. which, you know, always equals success. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And um, it, the, the education part is just essential to changing your perspective and how you approach doing hair and how you're creative about hair. And that's one of the things that I loved about Design Essentials is because we're so education. Yes. So about education and training each other, sharing with each other. It's great to be a part of a community that's like a family. Um, and we always are looking out for each other. We stay connected, we talk, we go to shows together. We're always happy when we're reuniting with each other to work with each other again. So that's why I love DE and I was most familiar with it from using it as a, as a uh, young age, mm -hmm. so. What would, you t what would you guys tell a stylist that didn't feel like education was important? They were just like, oh, I know what I know. I went to beauty school. I see what's around. Like, there's nothing new under the sun. Yeah. Like, it hurts. Like, yeah. Well, because we, you know, like, well, in, inside of the company, we go to other salons yeah. and we go to um, major brands, you know, like uh, Hair Cuttery, Retner, you know, stuff yeah. like that. And you have stylists, and I've actually had a, an approach from a stylist like, well, I don't need to do that. Or, you don't, why do you need to tell me what to do or how to change? Yeah. And um, literally, after the class she had to apologize because she was so close in to the education she didn't know that it was going to motivate her to do more in her own in, in the field and behind the chair working with her clients you know so I would definitely say like don't be close to education because one word can definitely give you that inspiration to take yourself to the next level rather you're if you're behind the chair or not you know what I'm saying so well, it just introduced, you know, an idea to me that, you know, it's really hard to tell someone, um, you know, that education is good and education is good. Because it's kind of like if you read instructions for something, you don't really know unless you have the experience. So it's almost like kind of having to show someone, you know, so that they can have the eureka or aha moment themselves. Because that's what happened for me. Um, you know, I was feeling like education, I was always trying to sidebar it, you know, because it's the money and I'm, like, I'm going to do that. Uh -huh. I'm good right now, you know, <laughs> making money. Yeah. So. But um, it's not until you just really take the plunge and you have to kind of make the decision on your own. Um, and it's, it's worth so much more when you do, too. Um, to really understand and see and be opened up to those inspirations and those new things that come through the education. It's really through an experiential thing that you really gain that interest. Mm -hmm. So the word texture is bigger than ever, right? I feel like 10 years ago, you barely heard that word. Now yeah. it's texture this, texture that. Yeah. And we are trying to incorporate more texture into everything that we do. So. What advice can you guys give to our hairdressers that maybe are afraid of texture or they can't identify texture the way that you would on a, on a higher level? Just the word texture. I know for myself, I've had people come into the salon when I was in the salon and say, can you cut curly hair? And I was like, can I cut curly hair? Yes. Mm -hmm. But that's still kind of a big question, right? Yeah. Can you cut curly hair? So how could someone grow their business in texture? Do you guys have any tips that you can give our our stylists? Well, I think that um, it's kind of like what I just said where, you know, oh, the education thing, I'm throwing it off, I'm throwing it off. Sure. And I think some people do that with textured hair because they're okay with that not having to deal with the texture. Um, but if you get into it a little bit, you'll see that it's so fun. I mean, texture hair is so versatile. Um, it's a multitude of different ways that it can be worn. Um, the, it can be manipulated into different size curls and different shapes. Um, it stands against gravity, which is amazing. So you can create great sculptures through, you know, working with texture. So I think that it's just more of the awareness that how fun texture hair can really be. Um, at DE, that's what we try to promote and let people become more aware that texture is 
really fun, versatile, it's great. Um, there's some precautions you need. Um, it looks very intimidating, you know, at, at, at first. Um, but once you put the water on it, you show it some love, you know, you take your time with it, then it will yes. open up to you because you can't work against it. You have to work with it, yes. okay? Um, so if someone who is trying to increase their clientele with texture or wants to get more into texture should just take the leap and maybe start to solicit clients who have textured hair mm -hmm. and then promote that work so people can be confident in choosing them as their texture stylist. Yeah. Well done. Okay. Well done. Well, good job, you guys. Um, I know we can keep talking and talking, but uh, we want to get on set and we want you guys to show off all your talent and all your skills and we can't wait to see what you have in store for us. We are super excited. We, 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 you know, based on your talking back and forth over the past week and coming up with your plans, we're excited. We're excited to see. Yeah, it'll, it'll be a great time on set. Cool. Let's, let's go. Yes, let's go. <laughs>figure eight positioning and we are using diagonal sectioning so that we can create a sweeping movement putting the rollers in in a direction that is going towards the face but we want to create voluptuousness going away from the face so it's going to come out with a nice finish very soft very voluptuous want to follow the hair. You don't want to just pull it out directly because then you're going to lose some of your curl memory. So you want to make sure that you slowly take them out from root to tip. Awesome shine. Shake your hair. Show them the movement. That's how curl enhancing moves. So we want to go in with some of our formation styling spritz. We want to create a little bit of volume at the roots and we want to preserve some of this curl. And then we're going to pull her forward. So now we can also her curls out while Greg is spraying our formations holding. I think we're ready for her to flip back just so we can see more of it, right? And then one, one two, two, three, slay! Yes, awesome! Look at that. We're gonna go in with our curl refreshing mist, coconut water, uh, gonna mist. This is great for getting the curl ready and prepare for a nice cut. We like to cut the hair in its natural fall. So now we're just gonna dust it off, kind of make it a little sharper. We're just going through and creating that shape, making it a little more defined and pronounced. And as you see, Greg is not Hugging the hair. He's not pulling it away from its natural pattern. He's just simply going in, trimming what needs to be trimmed at its natural fall. We're going to do a soft flat twist okay. um, going towards the back. Okay. And this is just going to create something really pretty around the face. It's going to highlight her face because we're moving the hair back. So I'm just moving in and just kind of doing a flat twist, grabbing some hair and creating some tension towards the back. Okay. And now we have our honey and shea edge tamer. So I'm gonna just add a small amount to a brush and just to kind of finish it off, if you have any fly rounds around the hairline, this is great for that because you're just gonna go in lightly kind of brush those little flyaways right into that twist. And she's fun and free and furry. <laughs>the love, love, lovely Anna Cantu from Farouk. I, I love her. She's, um, she's, she's a awesome. She's I a know um, she's super funny. Yeah. I know that we have really watched her from afar. Yes. But we don't know her personally. No. And there's so much about her journey that I would love to know. 
because she's a woman. She's a woman. We spent a little time with her and she's so much fun, but I don't want to talk too much about it. Actually, she is waiting um, right over here for us. Anna. Hey, oh girlfriend. My God. <laughs> hey, darling. Hi. Hi. We were just talking about how excited we are to Ooh. hang out with you today Me and too. to Thank um, you. divas. Divas. Well, hey, takes one to know one. I know, right? <laughs> we love having you here. Thank you. We so love having much. you here. So, so great to we be here. have some um, we have some questions yeah. for you. Sure. Um, in the dog park in Central Park oh, here. Yeah, I'm so distracted by these dogs. They're so beautiful. <laughs> So, we I'm may lose all the you. Air and the texture. I know. Like that. I know. We may lose you to one of the dogs, but yeah. um, <laughs> we want to ask you a little, little bit about you, about your journey, um, your background, maybe where you started. I think that it's always so inspirational to our hairdressers. We always ask our guests, "What was your um, journey? What was your journey? Like you started? Ooh, you you graduated started? beauty school? Then yeah. what happened? Then what happened? You know what? It's so funny. I took beauty school in high school." And, oh, and you're the second and, one. Yeah, yes. and, and it was one, I'm so blessed to have that opportunity because mm -hmm. it's a career, you know? Mm -hmm. And um, actually, at a young age, <laughs> I became a receptionist at a salon in JCPenney's. No oh. way. Yes. No <laughs> we way. Love that. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> I learned so much because the salon is so diverse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yes, but I think it really helped me to even, you know, understand business and booking appointments and inventory now that I have my own salon. Yeah. So I yeah. really, you know, I look back at it now and I'm like, I was such a little kid and young. I didn't, you know, it made, it made a big influence in my life. Wow. And then once I got my license, I got my license to be a hairdresser and then, and then I graduated high school. Yeah. Okay. So it was just, it started from the beginning and then I strongly believe in education. So partnering up with something, a company like Farouk Systems. I, I owe all my success to them and, and it's such a wonderful company that I think every opportunity, you just gotta hit a home run, you know? Yeah, yeah absolutely. So. Well, from the outside looking in, you do a lot of styling. And I think um, people would assume that that is your strong suit. That's your gifting. That is where you are phenomenal as an artist. Is that really the truth? <laughs> is that your passion? What's, what's your passion? My passion is, is um, one, being a great hairdresser, but I love color. Cuckoo for color. Yeah, love see, color. Who, who would have known? Yeah. Who would have guessed that? And in my salon, yeah. I do like 90% color yeah. oh. in my salon. When I do hair shows and trade shows and education, you know, they'll put me in, in, in styling or, or coloring or both. But I love the chemistry behind mm -hmm. hair color. But you know what also, like I have found that um, color actually brings a style to life as well. Like you can do a braid on, Absolutely. you know, a brunette, but throw some variances in color in there yeah. and that braid becomes like... Yeah. Dramatic. Something more dramatic, yeah. something more beautiful, Absolutely. something more outstanding. Yeah. yeah. So No, you're, you're totally right. And you know what? Being a professional hairdresser is not being categorized as one thing. So mm -hmm. being able to cut color, style, and finish work yeah all in one, that makes you more of a powerful hairdresser. I, I yeah. think that you probably know a little bit about makeup too. Um, a little bit, a little bit. I do. Let's, I mean, let's, one, it's, let's it's all about being a, a girl. You know? Oh my yeah. goodness. So yeah. We gotta, love that. We, we love, love that. that. We're all we about girl that. power. Well, one of the reasons when we were deciding um, on what artists to book for this, we were like, we need Anna Cantu. Like, we've seen, we've seen Anna, you on stage. we asked for you. We asked oh, for you. I don't you even so know much. if you knew that, but thank you, thank you, thank we you. know that you are really about the girl empowerment thing and yes. um, artists supporting artists and yes. how influential you can be as a woman in the beauty industry. I love it. I, you don't I already see, see your many face. women on platforms. Uh, you don't see many of us I doing it I get this it question big. all the time. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's because when Spell I, it. okay, I'm gonna tell you. Keep tell it real. Keep, keep it real. real. All the um, way real. Um, girl, <laughs> can you handle it? We can no, handle it. I feel no, like this. Too. I feel like we need to stop right now. This is, something yeah. is coming. Yeah. Something okay. big is coming. Something huge you is coming. What you no, got? you know what? When I first started, like, um, one, I started as an educator with she, and I would see the hair shows. Yeah. And I saw one woman in our stage. Everyone else was men, and you know, it's. I'm really bad, but. I think men sometimes can go on stage and because they're men, yeah. they can go up there, shake their butt a little bit, smile, and all the throw women a are like, <laughs> and the girls are cuckoo for Coco yeah. Puffs yeah. for these men. But then you see the hair and it's like, oh, women are better than yeah. men, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> and it's true. So, so then the whole thing was I just kind of took it like, I can be that, I can be on stage, mm -hmm. I'm not shy, I can do better hair, I can, yeah. you know, do it. So then, 
I remember when I first started doing a hair show, I had a partner and um, he was a guy. We're both crazy, loved it, another Latino, <laughs> love it. And um, we had a great time, we killed it all the time. And then I, um, he moved on to another company and stuff like that. And I had the opportunity to either get another partner okay. and that's it, right? So they call you and I was in my office in my salon in Houston and they're like, Anna, we have another partner. We're gonna. In, I was coming to NYC, okay. New York show, mm -hmm. and they said I have another partner. It's a girl, and da 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 da. da. And you know, as women, we work well with men, but sometimes girls, you know, we're, we're a little different. We're, yeah. we're we put a wall, you know, we test things and stuff. But I knew at that moment, I said, if I do not take this opportunity and show them what I can do, yeah. then I may never get, get this opportunity. Yeah. So I said to my boss, I was like, you know what? I trust you, and whatever you think, if you want to pair me up. I trust you. We hang up, I think about it for two seconds, I tell myself, no. Call back. I'm going out on my own. And I go, can you give me a shot? I know it's New York, I know it's a big ass show, whatever. Give me a shot. If I'm good, then we're good. If I suck, you can tell me to get off the stage and put me with whoever you want. Yeah, it was a win-win situation. And you know yeah. what, I yeah. went up there and it was so funny because all the other platform artists, I still remember it to this day, and they're all in the front, like at the stage like this, like what is she gonna do? <laughs> what is she gonna do? And I get up there, destroy it. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. Audience, crowd, crazy. Crying, were they crying? Were they crying? <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were fainting, crying, oh, vomiting. I love it. Crying, vomiting, <laughs> passing out, yes. Oh <laughs> I love that. Yeah. Yeah. So then, so then, they. I got off stage. My boss hugs me. She's yeah. like, "Oh my god, what just yeah. happened? What just happened? Yeah. Like, yeah. who is this girl?" Yeah. And I'm like, "I just never really released this, you know, yeah. girl." And you know, because like Beyonce have, with Sasha Fierce. You know, hello. She is from Houston. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so I think every opportunity you got to hit it with a home run, and I don't take anything for granted. Yeah. yeah. We we love that. I mean, how influential has education been? in your career it's everything you you never stop learning and you know even now like being at a certain level whatever i never say oh i'm at this i, I always pretend like i'm no one and to keep hustling you know because you got to stay, stay on top of your and yeah, stay you always stay hungry. Yeah. always always hungry humble being real and that's what hairdressers want you, you know i yeah, told somebody absolutely. yesterday we we're doing a shoot here in new york with some of the girls from miss, U miss university miss usa i said there's a educator anna there's a platform Anna, there's a camera Anna, there's a Miss Universe Anna, there's all different types. Don't, you know, don't ever think that I'm just one, you know? Yeah, so yeah. so I think being well rounded and being humble and being you know Absolutely. Southern sweet and stuff. Southern hospitality. Always respect, yes. <laughs> Tell us something about all the beautiful pageant work that you do. Was that an extension of just being a platform artist and now venturing out into that whole arena because Farouk plays a big role in that. I'm obsessed with pageants, and it's funny because when I first, my first pageant was Miss Universe. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I loved color. I loved professional hairdressing, and um, I remember I did this PR event with Chi, and they're like, Anna, do you style hair? And I'm like, Duh, I'm Latina. We do yeah. like weddings and kids yeah. yeah. every weekend, of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Do I style yeah. hair? Yeah. Like, Let me show on. you. Yeah. 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 Girl, so then, yeah. so then she goes, Have you ever done Miss Universe? And I was like, No. And she goes, I think you're gonna be great at Miss Universe. I was like, and I was looking at her like, no. <laughs> me? No, I'm not good. You're like like little old me, yeah. me, I'm not good enough, no. So they're like, no, we're <laughs> flying you to, to Vietnam and you're oh. gonna go. That's wow. A, my yeah. first pageant, went to Vietnam, spent there two weeks, did the Miss Universe pageant. And you know, everyone has this like stereotype, like, oh, she's just a pageant girl, she's, you know, rich or whatever, or you know, all not mm -hmm. smart. Oh my God, these women are brilliant, they're smart. And yeah. that's when my love became a passion because it's all about women empowerment. It's all about what these girls do for their state, for their country, giving back to the community. Yeah. So that's what I really fell in love with. And then the hair just blossomed mm -hmm. and making them feel welcomed and, and like they can conquer the world because you know, hairdressers, we have that power. We Absolutely. have that power to change someone's day when they're sad. You know, not in the salon, but also in pageants. You know, they're away from their families. They work so hard. And this is such a big opportunity for them to capture the crown. Yeah. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's just kind of, I, I'm just so blessed to be a part of their, their lives and their, for a little moment, you know? You mentioned the fact that there are like 10 Annas, right? Oh, so, yes. And we asked you a billion questions about hair and pageants and Farouk <laughs> and your journey. Mm -hmm. 
Who is Anna when Anna is not on stage, when she's not traveling the globe? Who is Anna when she's just chilling at home with friends or family? Like, what do you do? What do you like to do? Oh, I love this question. Uh oh. Anyway. Because no one ever asks that. Oh. Everyone assumes always that you're always hype, you're yes. crazy. Well, I am crazy. But, like, you're always on. And the real Anna is private. Okay. She's to herself. Oh, yeah. She likes silence. Okay. She um, likes to just look back of all the hard work yeah. and the journeys. Mm -hmm. And she's, she's a giver. She's someone that really loves the people that she's around, the people. I love hard. Yeah. So if yeah. I love you, I got your back. I'm with you. Yeah. So I'm when I'm at home and I'm relaxing my days off, I sleep, I'm silent, I go chill with my mommy. Yeah. That's Aww. awesome. Yeah. So that's yeah, awesome. I'm very quiet. I love that. How about this? Does the real Anna like hot dogs? Yeah. <laughs> I love a good hot dog. Let's go get a, a hot, hot dog. dog. Come on. Let's My get a hot dog. New York style hot dog. Hot dog. Hot dog. We need some hot dogs. But I don't think Dylan eats hot dogs. You know what? Hot Why dogs not? freak me. I don't know. They freak me out. Like the the smell freaks me out. But I will have a churro. All right. Churro. Let's do it. Churro. I love it. I will it. teach her how to roll those R's. I'm trying. I'm trying. Churro. 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 All right. Let's get our <laughs> hot dogs and churro and two hot, we, two hot dogs and a churro. We can't wait to see what you have in store Good on Sunday. Catch up for me, catch up for me. New York style. In the salon. I always like to go ahead and create some texture into the hair. It just gives me a nice foundation, a nice base. So I'm just gonna go ahead and elevate the hair, pulling the hair softly. I'm utilizing the Chi D Brilliance Iron. I twist once, slightly pull. Notice how I don't have any tension closer to the plates. And then I slowly glide. So we're not really looking for like a perfect curl. We're looking for that texture, that movement where I can change and move the hair and have control with it. And then I can go ahead and create and begin my beautiful up style. Whenever you go ahead and focus on beautiful up style work or bridal work or any type of up styles, foundation, and volume is the key. So, one of my little tips for teasing, hold the hair up, push all the way down, making sure the comb touches the scalp. If not, your teasing kind of stays in the mid shaft and that creates weight. So with this look, we're creating some beautiful beach waves. Prep the hair with infratexture. And then my secret weapon, the arc. So I leave the tips out just to go ahead and create a beautiful different movement on the tip. Then I slowly include them. And if you notice the arc, it tells you when the curl is ready. After creating those beautiful beach waves, now we section off a diagonal part around the top section. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a beautiful loose braid, and I'm just grabbing random sections and curving around the head section. And for texture, allows me to be able to do this and move the hair. This is one of my favorite up styles to do because it's so fast, so easy. I'm prepping the hair with a little bit of rose hip oil, and this is something I do quite a bit. It's a folding technique.
had such an amazing week. It is our fall winter trend shoot. We cannot wait to share everything that we've done. We have a very special guest today, Marin Hartman, Senior Director of Trend. And you know how we like to get all the secrets out of our guests. So. And we also like to bring you into our world and we also like to collaborate with everybody in the store. Let's talk about, we have a photo shoot happening back there. We have a video shoot. Let's kind of see what else. Let's give you a little tour. All and right. Let's pick your brain. Okay. So, as Salon, we are considered the beauty experts, so we're always getting advice on fashion and makeup, and we had the Sephora Pro team with us all week. Right. So awesome to have them with us. And we thought, who better to get expert opinions on other than you? Well, thank you. Yeah, yeah no, it's been an amazing week. I mean, just from a, from a perspective of um, bringing all aspects of beauty and lifestyle together, I mean, I think from an initiative standpoint, yeah. from JCPenney as a whole, when we think about our customer and what she wants and what she's into, she doesn't think of things in a silo. She thinks, she I want to look cute. Yeah, I mean, that's, I like don't we all just like like kind of yeah. want to look cute? <laughs> just make me look basically. cute. Basically, definitely and try. So, um, that means hair, makeup, and fashion. Um, so. Never on the last day for us. It's like hair <laughs> up, like, well, you know. Last exactly, day right? ponytail. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Last day ponytail. Um, so yeah, no, it's just been amazing in terms of watching how we can kind of combine all these aspects of what women are into and what we all want to look like right. and then being able to make that head-to-toe perfect look um, and share that with our customers. It's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Speaking of share, mm -hmm. what can you share? What's coming? What can what we sneak peek? Must okay. have. Like, what? Can you give us a couple things that we must have? Yes. Give us winter? three things. I will give, give you three, three amazing okay. things. Okay, so first thing that is probably going to be one of the biggest trends is embellished denim. Okay. So anything, you know, like we've like been that. living in a world of um, skinny jeans mm -hmm. right. and uh, we're moving forward and it's tons of destroy and tons of oh, embellishment, yeah. whether it's pearls or rhinestones Love or that. grommets or yeah. there's a ton of yeah. stuff going on on denim. I think I may be on trend. Raw edge yeah, is also you, yeah, extremely you know. important. Give me a pair um, of scissors, I go crazy. <laughs> exactly. Seriously, that's a huge trend. Yes. yes. Um, and then the next one I would say is shine. So shine in all aspects. And I think what's really exciting about this is the idea of shine to people that usually think of embellishment, which mm -hmm. is happening on denim. Correct. But now it's happening in the form of fabric. Okay. So it's like satin and crushed velvet mm -hmm. and lurex and yeah. knits that are all shiny. I think so of that is texture too. It's kind of, a, it's another yeah. way of looking at texture and kind of light reflection and, and we're really excited about that. And then next up I would say green was a huge color yeah, call out. I love that. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, and pine green is something that we're really excited about for fall just because it seems new and fresh yeah. and people haven't been talking about it, so. Well, welcome back 90s. Yeah, right? I know, welcome right? Back. It's totally <laughs> happening, it yeah, is happening. happening. So that whole normal core thing is, mm -hmm. It's big. So anyway, yeah, those are three to keep your eye out on. And so, we're having them in the store, which is fantastic. It's happening. So what's the color that you see so prominent this fall winter? I would say bright red. <sighs> Love it. And um, that like That's, sport. Yeah. Right. You're right. On yes. 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 Your sport. <laughs> I cut my own jacket. Right you already have red on. I think that we are doing pretty good. You guys so are far. on point. You're on point. We're <laughs> good. All right. All right. Wrap it up. So, yeah, totally. This is your first time. What do you think? It was amazing. I mean, I had no idea, and I think that um, bunch of moving parts. Lots of moving lots of parts. <laughs> parts. That's and, how that's how we roll, Mary. Yeah, and I just think that what a what a smart thing. I mean, we have this ability to offer our customer every aspect of what Everything. she needs. Yeah. Yep. So why would we not be like, oh hey, let's package it and show it to you because totally. you can come here and get pretty much anything you yeah. need. Um, other than a sandwich. And you're right, women are looking for that. Women yeah. want it to be easy and again, goes back to fashion where it's effortless. Yeah, effortless. You know? And well, just giving her the wardrobe and the life that she wants. She wants to look pretty, she wants her hair to look good, and she wants an easy outfit. Well, and I think this is something Michelle and I always talk about. It's total beauty for all women. Totally. Yeah. It's every every type of woman. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. so cool. Yeah. So cool. Well, it's nice to meet you. We nice to love you having you here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, come back again. We will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. There's Liz. Oh, hi. Hi, Liz. Hi, how are you? You've been busy. <laughs> I have been busy. How'd it go? You didn't go running. You didn't leave no, us. You I didn't. Quit. I didn't. didn't. Run no. for the hills. Amazing experience here. Music. She's so, still trying to work. I'm still She's trying like, to work. She's I gotta like, run over there. Fine. She's ready. Yeah, work. I'm ready. So, our thing is that we can't bring all of our hairdressers to what we do, but we want to kind of give them a sneak peek of everything that we do and bring and, and the this shoot is, to them. We want to bring the shoot to them, and this is your first time. Yes. So tell us. So, I mean, 
everything, it, all the emotions, what the experience it, is like. It's like a roller coaster of emotions. Yeah. I mean, you get here, it's rush, 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 Were you rush. Nervous? Model prep, extremely nervous. But it all just kind of flows together and everybody works together. Mm -hmm. I had, you know, a chance to work with amazing artists from Matrix and Design Essentials and you guys and An everyone American else crew. here and American crew mm -hmm. doing those awesome men's haircuts, which I'm like, I love. Yeah. So it was just, it was great. You know, I started as a designer with JCPenney and then I, you know, I'm here with you guys yeah. doing this trend shoot for a fall, you know, collection and it's just crazy. Did you learn a lot? <laughs> Yes. We hope you did. I we love having so you much. here. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I love being here. I still have a bunch of stuff for you to do, so okay. get back to it. I have okay. one more look I need your yes. help on. I, I, I need I'm you on, on camera I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm going. Right. Bye. <sighs> Before I do my last hairstyle, <laughs> oh, no. okay. we have to say goodbye. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And we <laughs> have to tell them always to stay inspired and stay beautiful. See you guys later. Bye.